Joel, we're so thrilled to have you back. And uh, <clears throat> we are. We have, we have, You're we shaking love the world. Richardson. You're shaking the world. The book, Islamic Antichrist, is it still selling? It's doing great, yeah. I want to tell everybody if powerful. you don't re have this book, you want to see the other side of the, po the, the, the playbook. Yeah. This is the world's playbook. This is what's going on in the world that we didn't know. I had no idea until I read your book that the Islamic world had grown to such a degree that they had covered the planet, that they were the number one evangelistic group in the world. They were winning more souls, if that be the, what you call it, than we Christians are. Converts. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. You look right now. <clears throat> ISIS, you know, so many American churches were trying to make our message easier and nicer and more user-friendly, yeah. and we're losing our kids. And yet you have ISIS has recruited 30,000 young kids from all over the world that have left, that have fled, left their lives behind, burned their passports. For what? And we can't get 1,000 kids to lay down their lives as missionaries to proclaim. 30,000. We're losing the messaging war. There's no question about it. Yeah. Absolutely. How can how can our young people follow a group of people that cut people's heads off? Yeah, it sounds unfathomable, counterintuitive, but the fact of the matter is the kids today are bored. They're sitting there scrolling on their phones. They want something real. They want to lay down their lives. Mm -hmm. And I think we need pastors and leaders that will raise a voice and say, you know, biblical Christianity that the apostles and Jesus proclaimed requires us to lay down our lives. So we need to proclaim an equally radical message, a message of love, but a radical message of love. A radical message of love. Now, that, that's a powerful and, and statement. That's... The, our new school year, we're going to challenge our students to have a passion for God, to have work ethics for God, to go out and really take the media. Because if we're going to win the world, we have to take the media. That's the only way now, I know for, that we now, can go I, to all the world exactly. to preach the gospel. And you the know, media is what everybody's on well, all that's the time. A, and, you know, Joel, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but just from watching this, well, just from listening to a lot of news, watching a lot of reports, you know, especially you've helped us understand, thank, thank God for you and for this book that you were bold enough to, to print and get out there. But, you know, ISIS has taken, has used social media as their, their main, they say they are very high tech. Oh yeah, incredibly so. I mean, the, every, the wars of the future, they'll be fought militarily and they'll be fought on Twitter and Facebook. I mean, literally, this is where they're recruiting. This is how they're getting their message out. And then, of course, Twitter now is cracking down on some of the ISIS accounts. But it's through creating a story. And these kids want to be part of the story. And so, yeah, you're absolutely right. Media is, is where the, the final battle will be fought in so many ways. 